Casey was good here with a brand new product from Kingston, the UV500. This one here is a 960 gigabyte model. It comes in different capacities, of course, from 120 to 1.92 terabytes. Five years warranty on this, beautiful. Kingston stands behind their product. This is more for those of you that are looking for a boost in performance, you're looking to upgrade your laptop or your desktop, which is using older technology, an older hard drive, 10 times faster, of course, than your standard hard drive, so that's why you would want to move to this. Here are the specifications. You can pause the screen and take a look at it slowly. 520 megs per second on the right, or the read, I should say, and 500 megs per second on the right. We're looking to get an average around that when we do our benchmarks anyways, around the 500 megs per second, roughly, for both of those. And in the kit, as you can see here, they're gonna give you all kinds of stuff to make your life easier should you decide to use this just as an external enclosure, uh, as an SSD on the outside, fine, you can do it like that. If you want to install it in your laptop, that's going to be straightforward. You just take out the existing hard drive and put this one in. Comes with all the latest technology that you would expect. For example, the Marvel 88 SS 1074 controller combined with that 3D NAND flash uh, technology for the read and write results that we're going to be getting here and uh, comes with built-in hardware uh, encryption which is great you know for those of you that are worried about security and again five years warranty on this drive in the box you're going to get all the necessary power cables connections and the external enclosure drive which is very nice okay i like how they think about you and the possibilities all the different reasons why you would want to buy an ssd are covered here when you buy this kit. So you can use this as an external hard drive enclosure, slide the uh, SSD drive inside of that little case, and um, well, plug in the uh, USB uh, cable that it comes with, and then you're good to go, right, with that. So you can use it as an external drive. It does come, of course, with the required software to make your life easy when it comes to migrating, as uh, you would expect. Kingston does excel in making that easy for you. I have it installed already here in Windows 10 on my desktop PC as you can see right here and we're going to be running first some benchmarks on the sequential read and write using the Addo Disk benchmark. So when we run the Addo Disk benchmark we use the default settings there to run the sequential read and write and it gave me bang on right where the specification should be for the read and write results. You can see there around 530 megs per second on the right and basically the same thing on the read. So you know, we're getting some really good results so far right off the gate. Now, Crystal Diskmark also concurred in its benchmarks, as you can see there on its sequential read and write. It's giving us 530 uh, for both read and write, basically. So very well done right there. It exceeded more or less the uh, specifications that uh, Kingston advertised. Now, when we're also looking here at other tools like ASSSD, they run their benchmarks slightly different. So Results may vary, but what I'm really interested about this is the IOPS, the input and output, the operations per second that we're getting. And uh, if we look at those right here on the 4K 64 third, we're getting really high results, which is what I expected when looking at the specifications and kind of comparing that here as well. So very well done. Now, copying, you know, average real world scenarios when it comes to gaming, uh, using office products things like that. We're gonna look at that in just a second here on the disc mark. It's comparing the um, Kingston UV 500 with an Samsung 840 Evo so very interesting how it matches right against that one and beats those other SSD drives that you can see there as well so very well done there for Kingston on this one and uh, for a real-world scenario type of thing like I said for gaming office type of scenarios here you have some results from PC Mark 8. On average, 233 megs per second is what you would get on that bandwidth, the storage bandwidth is what they say. And uh, that's obviously pretty fast if you were to compare that with your standard hard drive in there that you've got right now. Your old hard drive is nowhere close to this. So you're definitely gonna see a boost in reaction time and loading. So definitely a great drive from Kingston once again with the UV500, definitely recommend it. I'll add a link below to the latest pricing. Again, like I said, it comes in different capacities from 120 gigabyte all the way to 1.92 terabytes. So you've got the options in there to choose from. And, uh, you know, price uh, is pretty good. You know, if you're looking for a large SSD drive, obviously, you know, this might be the one for you. Comment below, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.